Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vasa Olga. In today's tutorial, we're creating skeleton mink block, and I hope you're gonna like it. Let's jump right into this video. First, I'm gonna prime my lid with NYX Perfect Eye Primer to lock my eyeshadows in place and go into the brows. I'm gonna do pretty much the same routine as I always do, but with a little bit different color. Not brown, but pink. It's up to you guys if you want to use something blue or green. It's just you can do this. Then I used my black eyeliner and uh, diffused everything with a blending brush or with a flat brush, whatever you have. To complete my brows, I've created some straws with the help of this pink color. And then what I do is actually applying black eyeshadows over the whole lid, over the place where we have applied some black eyeliner. Right now, I look like a panda. That's why we're gonna blend out everything with a hot pink shade. And then I'm going to a little bit lighter pink. The main shades for this makeup look are gonna be pink, light pink, black, and probably a little bit of rounds. Guys, I encourage you to be really messy with this makeup look because all it takes is a lot of blending. Underneath my eyes, I do pretty much the same routine. A little bit of black, some pink, and diffuse everything together. I want to know that between my brows and the forehead, I created some shades, I'd say like two straws. And I I filmed this only at the beginning of the video, but at the end, I emphasized those lines a little bit more. So please take this into account that probably you should take a little bit more depth into these shades. Okay, then I moved to my nose. It's really easy. You can create a round shape or you can use the same shape that I did for my nose, but it's just kind of easy. Create some shape, then fill that in with black eyeshadows. And I diffused a little bit with pink colors, but you can diffuse it with browns or blues or whatever color you pick for your face. Okay, for my cheekbones, I created a line, some sort of like sculpture that, and then the only thing that you should probably do is get with a little bit deep colors really close to the line you've created, and then go in a little bit lighter to create a shadow. When I mentioned browns at the beginning of the video, I meant that it's going to be really helpful to create shades, to create depth in the lines. Guys, I want to mention that this is the first time I'm creating a skeleton makeup look or any Halloween look. It's really easy if you take extra time to blend. So I a little bit added some shadow on the chin and went to my forehead where I created some spots, like really messy ones to get the skeleton vibe. If you're a beginner in makeup, I'd say that it might be a little bit harsh at first. That's why you have a beauty blender to diffuse every single harshness, to blend everything together. Then I went to my chin once again with a little bit lighter pinks. And then I tried to create some skeleton teeth, but at the same time, it kind of went out a little bit messy. I've created some lines on the sides, a little bit close to the nose and went downwards. Guys, I really tried my best to create something really close to skeleton teeth, but it actually turned out a little bit like a pumpkin teeth. So I emphasized everything with pink shades, then a little bit diffused some pink shades, and that's it for my teeth. I actually missed some eyeliner, that's why I added the Vinsaba eyeliner. Then I went to my highlighter to emphasize my cheekbones and it actually went out dope. A little bit of mascara to make sure that we have this glamorous version of skeleton. I desperately needed some extra pink underneath my eyes to get this saga look a little bit sad and kind of like bruises at some point underneath my eyes. Last but not least, I added black stones underneath my eyes. 
Guys, and that is it. That is it for my skeleton makeup look. I hope I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos. It actually went out pretty much good. I'm down to this technique and I hope you're gonna give it a try. I'll see you next time.